Welcome back. It's your favorite year in review. It is the first though. We should let this door open. Brilliant. Oh gosh, here we go guys. My name is Brooke Norman. I'm the founder of First Six Media and this is my year in review. I have gotten a lot of messages. They're like, oh my gosh, don't be so hard on yourself. Oh, we all make mistakes. And I'm like, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. We all make mistakes. We somehow all make mistakes. We are somehow all imperfect, flawed creatures. And yet there is so little where we share our disappointments. We only share our victories. And I don't know if everyone was taught different, but what I have found is failure is a part of success. So that said, coming in at number eight, I stopped taking care of myself. I'd like to be very specific. In January of 2016, I moved to Ohio. I weighed 132 pounds. January 2017, I weighed 145 through January 2018. I weighed in at 159. In 2019, I reached to 165. I'd become a workaholic. I had prioritized my work social life and had kind of changed my habits to where I was getting less sleep and worse sleep because I was dehydrated. And then also had all but stopped doing any exercise whatsoever. I used to, back when I lived in Utah. Actually, shout out to Brian Jones. We used to <laughs> literally do plank breaks in the office like four times a day. I mean, there was like 15 of us that would gather and do a two minute plank to a song because you have eight minutes in a day to take care of yourself. It was good for my mind. January, 2020. I weighed 155. March 2020, I weighed 155. April 15th, 2020, I weighed 135 pounds. COVID hit and I felt like it was my calling, my job, my duty to sacrifice all things and make it work do the digital transformation, do it faster, do it now. I was doing a deployment sleep schedule. Anyway, ah, I almost just slipped on ice. Cleveland, how was there ice during a rainstorm? Anyway, I was not eating or barely eating. I'm a single parent for nearly 10 years. I had two children at home. The only reason I was eating is because they would remind me. How good of a mom do you think I was being? Because I prioritized work over all things. And I convinced myself, me being unbound, me being a workaholic, sacrificing personal, emotional well-being was a righteous quest because it was my job to provide for the family. And my biggest mistakes of 2020 and over the past five years. In case anyone's wondering, it's January. First, 2021, starting the year by saying that I get to matter every single day. I get to take care of myself. I have to. A leader has to always be operating in a way that they arrive at the top of the mountain with their team intact, with their battery charged. Otherwise, what good are we? How are we going to solve the problems that stand ahead of us this year if we're not taking care of ourselves? That is my number eight problem from 2020. Ooh, I literally almost just slipped on ice to end this video. Ah! Oh my gosh. What a day, what a world.